Hey guys, so a couple of weeks back I bought myself an Evolve Skateboards Carbon GT and it's been just awesome so far but today I wanted to show you guys some of the performance capabilities of this board. So I'm going to do a couple of tests. Um, I've come out to my, my local park and I'm very very lucky because I literally live on the back of this place. So I'll do a few tests, we'll do some acceleration tests in the Eco Fast and GT modes over about probably 30 meters around around 90 feet um, then I'll be doing some braking tests to see how quickly we can actually stop the board once we're at that about 25k an hour speed. And then after that we'll do a couple of incline tests and then I think I'll do a bit of a loop around the park and see how we go. So the course I've got set out for the acceleration test is going to be heading from down there roughly 30 meters cruising down this track and coming across this finish line just here. So the first test is going to be the eco setting. Yeah, that was pretty slow. So the second test will be the fast setting. And the last accelerator test will be on GT. So as you can see, GT is actually pretty fast and it definitely, definitely gets your heart rate up. So my plan for the next section was to show you guys the braking in Eco, Fast and GT modes, but I've just tested it out in Eco mode and the most I can actually hit on this section with me on it is about 16 k's an hour. So I'll show you anyway, uh, Fast and GT mode, I'll take it up to 25 k's an hour and then we'll measure out how quickly it can stop. So first up, the Eco mode. So slow in eco mode, although it's completely fine for my six year old who loves it. Um, but for me and my weight, there's no, just no chance I'll be using it. Anyway, the next one is in fast mode. And last but not least, the GT mode at 25 k's an hour. So that was interesting. I was doing exactly the same speed as the fast mode and it felt more aggressive when I when I hit the brakes, but basically if you guys can see that it stopped almost in exactly the same point as the as the fast mode. So I just just did a quick calculation and it's not really worth talking about the eco mode. It's about 3 meters it stopped from from about 16 k's an hour um, or 10 miles an hour and but for the fast and GT modes, it was about 28 feet, which equals about 8 meters. So if you're cruising along on the dirt at my weight, and you're about 25 k's an hour, you've got to allow at least 8.5 meters to stop. Super aggressive, of course you can slide it, but just on the brakes alone, about 8.5 meters. So next up, I'm going to do a couple of incline tests. I'm going to pick the, the steepest hill I can find in the park and see if we can get up it. So basically that is level and that is the angle. It doesn't really show much here, but, but basically this is a really, really sketchy hill. Very, very little traction, but I'll show you how easy it does it. So 
So as you can see, I was wheel spinning the whole way up, but coming down, coming back down, the braking is actually really, really good. It's um, pretty controlled. The problem was the slope of the hill, and it just wants to slide out sideways all the time. But the board was great. So that pretty much wraps it up. I've done some acceleration tests, some braking tests, an incline test. But if there's anything else you guys want to see me try out, um, let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you.